Welcome to Career Sneak Peek. If you're loving what we do here, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video. We're excited to have you here. In today's video, we'll explore the top 10 highest paying occupations that don't require a four-year college degree. We'll rate each career based on several factors, including salary rating, entry difficulty, job break-in, stress level, and job satisfaction. So, let's dive right in. At the top of our list is Air Traffic Controller, with a salary rating of 5 out of 5 stars. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for air traffic controllers in the United States is $130,000. However, breaking into this career can be challenging, with an entry difficulty rating of 4 out of 5 stars. The job also carries a high stress rating of 5 out of 5 stars but has a job satisfaction rating of 2 out of 5 stars. To break into this career, consider applying to an FAA-approved Air Traffic Collegiate Training Initiative at CTI, program. These programs provide specialized air traffic control training and may give you a competitive edge in the hiring process. You'll also need to pass the Air Traffic Standardized Aptitude Test, at SAT, which assesses your aptitude for air traffic control. After successfully completing the at SAT, you can apply to the FAA's Air Traffic Control Specialist job postings. Next on our list is Elevator Installer or Repairer, with a salary rating of 4 out of 5 stars. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for elevator installers or repairers is $87,000 in the United States. This career has an entry difficulty rating of 3 out of 5 stars, a stress rating of 2 out of 5 stars, and a job satisfaction rating of 4 out of 5 stars. To break into this career, you can undergo formal training programs offered by vocational schools, technical institutes, or elevator manufacturer training centers. These programs provide both classroom instruction and hands-on practical training. Additionally, some individuals enter the field through apprenticeship programs sponsored by labor unions, industry associations, or elevator companies. It's essential to research and comply with licensing requirements in your area of practice. Moving on to the third career on our list, we have the Customs Inspector, with a salary rating of 4 out of 5 stars. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that the median annual wage for Customs Inspectors is $86,000 in the United States. The entry difficulty rating for this career is 3 out of 5 stars, while the stress and job satisfaction ratings are 4 out of 5 stars and 3 out of 5 stars, respectively. To break into this career, gaining previous experience in law enforcement, security, or a related field is beneficial. Consider internships, volunteer work, or entry-level positions in the field to gain experience. Ensure that you meet the basic eligibility requirements set by the customs agency and prepare for entrance exams, including written exams, aptitude tests, physical fitness assessments, and background checks. Coming in at number 4 is the power plant operator, with a salary rating of 4 out of 5 stars. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics BLS, the median annual wage for power plant operators, distributors, and dispatchers is $84,000. Breaking into this career may take time, earning it an entry difficulty rating of 3 out of 5 stars. However, the effort can be rewarding. The stress level is rated at 4 out of 5 stars, indicating the need for composure in handling high-pressure situations. Job satisfaction is rated at 3 out of 5 stars, suggesting a moderately fulfilling career. To embark on a career as a power plant operator, it's important to research the licensing or certification requirements specific to your country or state. These may involve passing exams or completing training programs.
look for entry-level positions or apprenticeship opportunities at power plants or utility companies, as they provide valuable hands-on experience and learning from seasoned operators. Next on our list is the Shipmate, with a salary rating of 3 out of 5 stars. According to the BLS, the median annual wage for shipmates is $80,000 in the United States. Breaking into this career is moderately challenging, earning it an entry difficulty rating of 2 out of 5 stars. The stress level is rated at 3 out of 5 stars, indicating occasional pressures related to the maritime industry. Job satisfaction is rated at 3 out of 5 stars, suggesting a moderately fulfilling career. Shipmates encompass various roles such as deck officers, engineers, stewards, and ratings. To pursue a specific role, consider the required qualifications and responsibilities. For example, becoming a deck officer may involve enrolling in a maritime academy or completing a maritime degree program. Engineers may need an engineering degree or attend a marine engineering training program. Research certifications and licenses required by the maritime authority in your country or the country where you intend to work. Moving on to the sixth career on our list, we have the Petroleum Pump System Operator, with a salary rating of 3 out of 5 stars. According to the BLS, the median annual wage for petroleum pump system operators, refinery operators, and gaugers is $71,000 in the United States. Breaking into this career is moderately challenging, earning it an entry difficulty rating of 2 out of 5 stars. The stress level is rated at 3 out of 5 stars, indicating occasional pressures associated with the industry. Job satisfaction is rated at 2 out of 5 stars, suggesting average satisfaction. Consider enrolling in vocational or technical training programs that offer courses specific to pump operations, oil and gas industry practices, and safety procedures. These programs can equip you with the necessary knowledge and skills for the role. While not always mandatory, certifications such as the Well Cap, Well Control Accreditation Program, for well control operations can enhance your qualifications. Look for job openings at oil and gas companies, drilling contractors, refineries, or pipeline operators to gain entry-level experience. Our seventh career is the locomotive engineer, with a salary rating of 3 out of 5 stars. According to the BLS, the median annual wage for locomotive engineers is $66,000 in the United States. Breaking into this career is moderately challenging, earning it an entry difficulty rating of 2 out of 5 stars. The stress level is rated at 2 out of 5 stars, indicating moderate stress levels. Job satisfaction is rated at 2 out of 5 stars, suggesting an average level of fulfillment. Most rail companies require applicants to have a high school diploma or equivalent. Locomotive engineers typically undergo two to three months of on-the-job training, riding with experienced engineers who provide insights into specific train routes. Next up, we have the aircraft mechanic, with a salary rating of 3 out of 5 stars. According to the BLS, the median annual wage for aircraft mechanics and service technicians in the United States is $65,000. Breaking into this career is moderately challenging, earning it an entry difficulty rating of 2 out of 5 stars. The stress level is rated at 3 out of 5 stars, indicating occasional pressures associated with the job. Job satisfaction is rated at 3 out of 5 stars, suggesting an average level of fulfillment. To pursue a career as an aircraft mechanic, Consider enrolling in an aircraft mechanic training program offered by an aviation maintenance technician school or community college. These programs provide the necessary knowledge and skills required for aircraft maintenance and repair. Additionally, obtaining certifications from the aviation authority in your country, such as the FAA Mechanic Certificate in the United States or the EASA Part 66 license in Europe, can enhance your qualifications. Gain practical experience through entry-level positions at aviation maintenance organizations to further enhance your skills and expertise.
Our ninth career is the model maker, with a salary rating of 3 out of 5 stars. According to the BLS, the median annual wage for model makers in the United States is $60,000. Breaking into this career is moderately challenging, earning it an entry difficulty rating of 2 out of 5 stars. The stress level is rated at 2 out of 5 stars, indicating low to moderate stress levels. Job satisfaction is rated at 4 out of 5 stars, suggesting a high level of fulfillment. To pursue a career as a model maker, it's essential to build a portfolio showcasing your best projects. Include photographs, descriptions, and relevant drawings or sketches to demonstrate your skills, creativity, and attention to detail. Seek practical experience through internships, apprenticeships, or entry-level positions in industries like architecture, product design, film and television, or the toy industry. Familiarize yourself with specialized software and tools used in model making, such as CAD software, 3D printers, laser cutters, and CNC machines, to enhance your capabilities. Finally, our last career on the list is the Postal Office Clerk, with a salary rating of 2 out of 5 stars. According to the BLS, the median annual wage for postal service clerks is $51,000. Breaking into this career is relatively easy, earning it an entry difficulty rating of 1 out of 5 stars. The stress level is rated at 1 out of 5 stars, indicating low stress levels. Job satisfaction is rated at 3 out of 5 stars, suggesting average satisfaction. To start a career as a postal office clerk, you'll need to take a written postal exam, which is a common requirement for entry-level positions. Passing this exam will make you eligible to apply for any postal service clerk positions posted by the post office branches. Thank you for watching our sneak peek into the top 10 highest paying occupations that don't require a four-year college degree. We'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.